have uh, definitely had their battles through the years. Now Kodiak defenseman fell. Good job by Duberto. Now comes in front of backhand shot. They score. And that puck went up over a stick and behind Bowerman. And uh, not much he could do on that one. Kodiak defenseman fell. Not sure which one it was. But it allowed the Oilers to move in. And at this point in the Alberta Junior Academy season, you give the Oilers an opportunity. They're likely going to bury it. Averaging five goals per game are the uh, Okotoks Oilers. And that is number one in the Alberta Junior Hockey League. And they score here, and it's 1-0 Oilers. Centering pass, Hartman fanned on it. Oh, he was set up in the slot and just missed that. Kodiak's uh, one for three in the power play last night. Corey Alley behind that. We'll get it to Kupka in front, looking for a tip from Hartman. Couldn't get a Kupka. Score! <laughs> heating up. Tyler Kupka's fourth goal in two nights. His sixth of the season. Kodiak's one for one in the power play. And they've tied it up. It's 1-1. And out of the box comes Walter and he's got a break. Here's Colby Walter. Walking at Walter and catching Walter is hauled down and the penalty's coming up. Penalty shot. Yes. Walter will get a penalty shot as Kyler Wall caught Walter, who jumped out of the box, picked up the puck. And a penalty shot for young Walter with 11.42 to go. What a big moment here. So Walter now will not be hounded on this one. He'll get a clear break away from center. And here comes the former TELUS Cup participant. If you were listening last night, Adam is part of our intermission guests. Here's Walter, takes the puck, walks in, right through the middle, walks in. He fakes a shot, score! No, they wave it up! Well, thought that was in, apparently not. And the Oilers try to move it out. Dykstra stopped that for a second. Now Gervais has it. <laughs> Speaking of CFL football, caught that like a receiver. Walter, meantime, a pass across. Here's Dykstra from back, and he's gone! Oh, I guarantee you that'll make the highlight reel. Coming up in our second intermission, we've got the top five goals of September. Well, I'm just inserting this one in our top uh, five or ten for October because that was a beauty. And Dykstra eventually slid it between the legs of the Okotoks netminder. And the Kodiaks have a 2-1 lead. First lead of the night. He shoots. That missed the net. Rebound comes near side. Coriani slashes at it. Vanell trying to get to the puck. Now centering pass. Wong comes in front and Bowerman knocked the puck away from him. Now Sukarov at the right point. What a poke check there by Bowerman. Cope ties up his man. Here's Kim trying to move it in. Cope after the puck. Banks it off the boards. Laderoot keeps it in. At the left point. Now to Hoon Kim. Here's Kuhn. Kim. A shot. Scores. Well, I don't know what that deflected off of, but uh, no fault to Griffin Bowerman. Uh, Cody Ice could not clear the zone, and they were left with some tired players out there. And a shot from the point by Kim deflects off something in front of the net. And beats Bowerman, and the Oilers have come back to tie this hockey game. All right, back to action. Here we go. Face off to the right of Bowerman. A ladder route with the back. He's been his usual workhorse for the Oilers tonight. Has two goals, takes a shot. That's off a leg, gets the rebound. A shot saved by Bowerman. Now knocked down in front of that. Backhand shot, they score. Well, Tanner Laderoot did not get that goal, but he has been a one-man wrecking machine for the Oilers here tonight. Looks like Holloway is going to get credit for it. A puck that bounced up over Bowerman and into the back of the net, and the Oilers have come back. 
with two goals here in the third period, lead it three to two.